the uh, ear is really complicated, but we can simplify it to some extent. Imagine you're a ceramic artist and you made a mug. If you made a mug, and if we lit it from over here, you'd have light here. You'd have light here. And you'd have shadow here. Shadow here. Okay. So this basic idea kind of dominates the whole ear. But let's 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 sculpt this more like more like we were a potter. So the things happening with the ear are like this. It's like you have this shape right here. And it comes down. And then we have another one of those that goes like this. And that's kind of that's kind of what's going on with the ear. Let's let's see if we lit that. So we can think kind of in those terms. Here's like a, I'll give you a real kind of geometric breakdown. Starting not with that. I like to start with a minor axis. And I'm going to draw this first, okay? Because I have the minor axis, I go symmetrically around it. And now this one is a little bigger. Here's my major axis. So I'm going to come out here and draw another one a little bit bigger. again symmetrical. And that gives me this shape, that gives me this shape. Now this part gets to be kind of tricky. What I need to do is I need to tilt a shape on this. So if I take, and at this point, if I switch the minor axis, so let's say I want the minor axis is now going to switch to this. And I'll make a new major axis too. So this will become this shape. And 
and then that would actually double. And that's a pretty crazy shape to try to understand. It can become more clear with the light. So if I light this part of it, we say we've got light on the top of it. And if I have light on top of it, this part would be illuminated. And then also this would be illuminated. This would fall into shadow. And as you come down this way, it would fall into shadow again and through here. And that starts to give us the construction of the ear. Uh, I don't expect you to get all of that, at least in the drawing one course. I really don't expect you to get all of that. It's really a complicated shape. So what we need to do is we need to think of it in a very simplified way. If we're thinking of our portrait, this is our construction process for our portrait. I want to draw through this to give me that line. And here's my center line, and here's my center line, dropping in to give me a, a brow ridge. And this is the point where my ear is going to be. And if I've got this line, and I've got this line, these lines of perspective, this one, these will go along. And that will become the minor axis for the first, for the bottom, which would then be symmetrical around that. And then the top tilts on it, like that. And then we can light it. And that's as far as I want to take the ear for us, for, this, for the work that we're going to do in this course. The ear is really interesting and there's a couple of more moves that we could do on it, but for right now I think that that gives us a nice starting place. So let's go through and try to do those and uh, let's go through and try to do those on our six basic heads, okay? All right. I never seem to get this one just right. I'd like to have it more looking at me. I mean, that's what it is doing. It's looking at me, which means that the, which means that 
the outer portion of the head, that when I put that initial shape in, it's going to be thinner, not quite so long. You guys have probably noticed me making that a little too long throughout. And the piece of paper wraps. You drop, find a center line. Okay. Here's the jaw. Jaw comes inward till it gets to there. Inward till it gets to there. In this case, I'm going to see the ears is sitting right here. And right now, the first ellipse, and then the, here's the second one. It sits on it like that, okay? And then I'm going to light it as though it's being lit from the top. We might see some earlobe right there, okay? Okay. Three-quarter view. Notice how I sketch the line for the minor axis. Trying to be symmetrical around it. And now I want to set the next one at an angle. And the shape comes over and down. Over and down. Okay? And now let's light it. So again, we'll imagine a top lit head here. So the light is coming from up here, primarily. My highlight could be like in there. These would be catching some light, and this surface would catch light, and this surface would catch light, and that surface would catch light. And I think that gives you a pretty nice start for your ear. Okay going to go into profile Here we are one tilted on it. Okay, there's my jaw. Coming in a little far, it's a little obnoxious. And I'm going to light up. Now, three-quarter looking up.
see my piece of paper. That will really help me continue to orchestrate my perspective, which in this angle really wants to get away from me. But I want to try really hard to get it good this time. Okay. Um, back. So that's my minor axis. Symmetrical around that. And then tilted. This comes up to there. So he's in three quarter looking up. Three quarter looking down. So notice when I go three-quarter looking up, you see this perspective line, now three-quarter looking down. Now we're seeing into this cup here. Here's better, okay. If that would be my minor axis, down here is my ear. tilted. The light. The light. The light. Okay. Starting to like those. Okay, and the last one is the looking away. Here's my minor axis that comes off of that line. And the ear is the first is symmetrical on the minor axis, and the second is tilted. Okay. And we could look at the other one. We could say symmetrical and then the other one is tilted and so we're actually going to see a little bit of it on that side of the head and I want to light that so we've got light here and light here would be here coming forward and maybe some light in there and I would have light here and it would look like that this would have light here and in there. These are presuming that the light is coming from on top. Okay. 
Okay. Hope that's useful.